What's up there SEO pros? Chase here. Today I'm going to be talking to you about some of the most important things you're going to want to do when doing an audit for a website. So the first thing I would recommend is that you get a good crawling software like Screaming Frog or Deep Crawl. If you're using a site like Deep Crawl, you're probably not going to want to use that unless the site has over like 50,000 pages being indexed. So the cool thing about using these types of softwares, well first of all, the cool thing about using Screaming Frog, if you do use Screaming Frog and you're not trying to crawl a site with over 50,000 URLs, Screaming Frog is actually free for up the, to the first 500 URLs. And uh, if you want to go above that and you want to go up to 50,000 then you would use Screaming Frog. If you want to go past that then you would go to Deep Crawl. The cool thing about Screaming Frog is it'll show you a lot of the things that you need to be changing right away. So for instance, like the on-page basics. If you don't know what the on-page basics are, you can definitely go to the description of this video I will leave a link to a tutorial of me going through on page basics on a site. So some of these things include title tags, meta descriptions, alt tags, and you want to look for are these things missing? Maybe people aren't using the right character lengths. Like for instance, the title tag usually should not be over 75 characters. Like I said, if you check out the on-page basics video, uh, you can go over all these different things that I look at. But in the end, this is not the most important thing, right? So it's good to get an analysis of the website to see, for instance, is there 60 title tags missing? Or is the meta or are the meta descriptions missing? Or are they too long? But if there's other things going on with the site that are more catastrophic to the SEO, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is not do on-page SEO for a bunch of pages if they if you might need to get rid of those pages uh, because for instance maybe too many of them are getting indexed or you shouldn't be indexing certain things so we'll, we'll get to that in a second but just know that you really should prioritize your tasks so that would be the second tip so the first tip was to find some software that would be good to crawl the site that you're, you're looking at right the second tip is to start taking notes of those things now when I do my audits, I'll go through and I'll look at all the different things that I think should be changed on the site, like we were just talking about. For instance, there's title tags missing, there's alt tags missing. Are those the most important things? Usually they aren't, unless it's for something like a home page or a really valuable product page, but we won't talk about that right now. What we're gonna talk about is getting a good analysis, overview of the different things that should be changed on the site, and then at the end of that, you're gonna to wanna to create a list based on priority for what should be changed first. So let's go back to the uh, subject of duplicate pages being indexed, or for instance, thin content pages being indexed, or maybe people are, the person you're doing an audit for has uh, tags being indexed, or dates being indexed and it's not a news site. So uh, there's a lot of things that you're gonna wanna look at first. In order to know these things, I would, go through the on-page basics tutorial like i said i'm going to leave in the description and also uh, maybe the other part of the national seo playlist that i uh, do or maybe even check out one of the audits i have a huge uh, audit playlist with over 30 different audits that i've done live for people um, and you can check out and see what i sort of look at as a priority versus not a priority in those audits the third thing that i would say is you're going to want to uh, really look at certain things first. So for instance, you know, doing a crawl is great, but, but I usually look at the home page and the other main pages first as the highest priority because usually those pages are the pages that should or are receiving the most traffic. So the best way to look at these pages is not just through a crawling tool, but actually looking at them visually. So if you go to a home page and the site doesn't have a call to action on it, for instance, above the fold is usually the best where to, uh, place to have a call to action, then there's usually a problem because there's gonna be a lot of people going to that site and they're going to be confused what to do when they hit the home page. You have to direct people, especially at the home page, because the home page is usually the most trafficked page, uh, not in every case, but in, in most cases, uh, because people are looking for a brand, usually before a certain search query that you might be ranking for you're gonna to wanna to include a call to action on that page. The other thing that you can do is go into something like Search Console or Google Analytics and actually look and see how many people are visiting the page, whether or not they're converting into customers from there, or you know, um, are they bouncing off the page. So that brings me into the next part, which is user metrics. So it's really important that you're not just looking at the audit from a uh, on-page perspective. You wanna look at it from other 
perspectives as well, like user intent and user experience optimization. And the best way to check these things is to start measuring your conversion rate. So if somebody's not uh, doing conversion tracking, which most people aren't, then you're gonna really wanna put that in your audit. Say, hey, look, first thing that you need to do, conversion tracking. Second thing that you need to do, start looking at your user metrics. So then of course, uh, if you're doing an audit for the off-page portion of the website, looking at links, whether this might be link penalties, um, of course you're going to want to set up Search Console if it's not set up already, so you can see if there's any warnings or problems. Um, in terms of the off-page, I always run my sites that I'm auditing through Ahrefs to see what the links look like, making sure that there's no links in Mandarin. I don't usually do a huge link audit right off the bat unless the links look really sketchy just by coming through them. Um, or maybe there's like 50,000 links pointing to a website. If it is a national website and it's been around for a while, it might be a good idea to do a link audit, but that is a completely different type of audit which takes a lot of time to do. If you guys wanna know how to do a link audit, leave a comment and I can create a video for that in the future as well. We covered getting a crawler, checking out the on-page uh, basics, you know, prioritizing with lists, looking at pages from a user intent standpoint, user experience standpoint, making sure that these pages are optimized for users through page speed, through uh, making sure that there's call to actions to direct people to where they need to be. There's gonna be tons of other things that you can start putting in uh, to your notes when you're doing an audit, like for instance, are people internally linking to other relevant pages? Are people externally linking to uh, you know, highly authoritative relevant pages to the subject? But in the end, you're looking for quality and you're looking for uh, three main metrics, and this all goes back to the Triforcing course that I teach. You wanna look for user experience optimization, user intent optimization, so you're optimizing with the best experience possible for what people are looking for, and then authority building, which means creating authority and making yourself an entity around your main subject. If you can go in that direction, you're gonna have a great time. So what does that really look like? It means you don't wanna have a ton of pages on your website that are just low value, Google doesn't want them, people don't want them, there's no reason they should be indexed, so no index those things. As far as like the technical side of an audit, if you're looking to uh, really dive into you know, schema markup and setting up your OG data and setting up your link silos and doing your LSI keywords and all that stuff, I have tutorials for all of that. This was sort of just a quick video on some things that you can really uh, do to start focusing on your audit and some of the uh, things that I do right off the bat. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments and until I see you guys next time, happy SEOing.